Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how you can install constant variables into your Google Tag Manager account. But before we get started, as always, these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and if you're new to Google Tag Manager, check out our free email course where you get five free video lessons that take you through the installation up to your first tag deployment with Google Tag Manager. And you can sign up today for free at gtmtraining.com slash email course. Now lately I've gotten some questions from students how they can recreate a variable that I often use in my Google Analytics tags, which is the Google Analytics ID variable. And this is what I use often to fill out the tracking ID field. And this variable is a constant variable. Now what are variables? These are basic placeholders that are get dynamically filled by Google Tag Manager. If you want to know what this analytics ID field gets filled with or any variable, then you can go over to your site into the preview and debug mode. You get the debug console and under variables, we can see all the variables, but we need to select an event first. So we here see all the variables and how they get filled. Some get filled with undefined, but our analytics ID is getting filled with a string and our UA ID. So how would we recreate this? Let's go over to Google Tag Manager under variables. We can create a new variable and we fill in analytics ID. I'll just call this two because we already have one and we'll choose the type constant. Now the constant type is a type that is not dynamic, so it doesn't reevaluate. It will just take whatever we fill in this value field. And obviously we'll we want to take our analytics ID, which we find under our Google Analytics account. In the admin section, under the property configurations, we have our tracking info, the tracking code, and up here we have the tracking ID. So we can simply copy this and fill it out here as a value and create this variable. Now we can see what the variable gets filled by refreshing our preview and debug mode, going back to our page, reloading our page, and choosing an event, looking into the variables, and here we see our analytics ID got filled with the ID that we just copied in. Now, why is this useful? If you build multiple Google Analytics tags, like we have here, we don't have to go back and forth between Google Analytics to find out our UA ID, our tracking ID. We can just fill it in with our placeholder, which is our analytics ID. And we can easily access that by clicking on this brick icon and we have all the variables available that we have currently in GTM configured. And here's our analytics ID one or two. And this will be automatically filled out with our constant variable. So a constant variable can really be useful if you are planning to use a value over and over again, which is not changing and it's not dependent on other elements of Google Tag Manager then you might as well use the constant variable. And that's already it with this short tip this time about constant variables and how you can use them. There are obviously many other kind of types of variables that you can learn more about in our videos. So be sure to subscribe and head over to gtmtraining.com to sign up to our newsletter where we also keep you up to date on the newest videos that come out weekly. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel or give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to Google Tag Manager, check out our free email course at gtmtraining.com slash email course. I'm Julian, till next time.